Mr. Johnson, come in, please. Is it really true you used to work for the King of England? I worked for His Royal Highness, the Duke of Windsor, after he abdicated the throne as King Edward VIII. Yes. You know, the Duke visited Alexandria once. That was my first overseas trip with His Royal Highness, and then he asked me to join him permanently and brought me here with him to Paris. As his valley? Yes, sir. The valley of the king? Sir? It's an Egyptian thing, no matter. So, tell me, what did your job entail? What did you do for him? Everything. I took care of every aspect of his life, from the moment he opened his eyes in the morning to the moment he closed them at night. And how did someone forgive me? of your background, know what the former king of England might need. I didn't. His Royal Highness taught me everything with great patience and kindness. Then will you teach me? In which capacity? As my personal valley. British society is the finest in the world. British manners and customs rule the world. With your help, I will become that rare thing, a British gentleman. Now, there are a dozen writers you have to read if you are ever to understand the English. P.G. Woodhouse, Rudyard Kipling, P.G. Woodhouse, Rudyard Kipling, Charles Dickens, The Shooting Diaries of Colonel Peter Hawker. <laughs> Afternoon tea is not a task to hurry through, Mr. Muhammad, but a ritual to be savoured. Uh-uh. You'll be in the doghouse if the Duchess catches you pouring tea like that. For the city, a simple dinner jacket, midnight blue, never blank. For the country, jeans and shirts, freedom and ease. Corduroys and checks for golf. A cerise baseball cap, and always, wherever you are, socks. Roll down every morning ready to slip on. As for recreation, to have your own suit is important. The English are fundamentally a bloodthirsty breed, but golf, now that is a game I am truly passionate about. Passionate, but not very talented. Captain of ten golf clubs. Sydney. He learned his swing from the great champion, Percy Boom. How do you do? Three-time winner on tour, author of several books, and the greatest teacher in all Europe. Percy sorted out a kink in my back swing with the help of stop-action photography. Of course, the true sport of kings is polo, where connections and friendships are made that will last a lifetime. Which is why Dodi is already a passionate polo player. Passionate, just not very talented. Everything in British society begins and ends with the royal family. If you are seen in their company, if you are known and trusted by them, then all doors will open everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> 